Hi everybody, it's another TFR Drones video. This is a video of my Reptile Afri X450 quadcopter. And the video is about some issues that I'm having with my cameras on the DVR when I fly at night time. This is my Reptile Afri quadcopter. Okay, and this aircraft, um, I do have three cameras on this aircraft and two of them they are rated to work as uh, night vision cameras and the one that I'm using right now is the, uh, is the main camera that came with the aircraft is the 700 TVL. The, I have to say this camera works beautiful at night time. Now the issue that I have is I got two other cameras and the second front camera that I got that on nighttime works a little bit better than the 700 TVL, and you can even get to see you know everything in color. Um, like this one, this one of those cameras that when you fly at nighttime, everything turns like black and white. The 700 TVL, the other cameras that are giving me issues. Uh, I mean, the, the second camera is giving me issues with the DVR and the OSD. As you can see, though, I switched to the second camera, and the OSD is flickering. Uh, and I getting uh, the DVR sometimes I skip the video, like uh, it, it thinks that I getting you know a lot of uh, it thinks that it's like getting some kind of interference that the DVR cannot make heads or tails with it, and it just skip you know completely you know a section of the video. And that's the big big problem that I have here. That's why I mean I'm just gonna post this video, but until I resolve the problem, I'm not gonna be posting any more night vision nighttime videos and that's the main reason why I purchased this aircraft now if you guys see my previous video when I flew in daytime and that video I went you know 11, 1100, 1100 feet in the air the main camera works beautiful the, the video transmitter everything that I was using it just worked awesome I didn't have no, no problems no issues but the moment I start flying on on nighttime, I get all this crazy, you know, uh, uh, interference. You know, like you see right now. Uh, but I just got a little bit more clear the image. Uh, I'm pretty far right now from 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 shore to where I am uh, at this moment. You know, flying the aircraft like uh, 15. Uh, no, 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 uh, like one kilometer, you know, from, from the shore at this moment. So it's like around half a mile. So still, you know, the, the I've flown, you know, farther away in the past. And, and actually, I don't, I, I don't fly to the, the bridge before. And I uh, got this much, you know, interference like I'm doing right now. And the funny thing is I'm flying over the water. You know, so the image should be, you know, a little more clean. Um, so right now, I'm gonna head back to shore, and I'm gonna fly to town. And you can see, you know, the 700 TVL is is working beautiful. It's doing a beautiful job. I'm really, really, really impressed with how great this camera is and work the night time. But I wanted to combine it with uh, the soft micro ones because. The so micro, you know, they work even a little bit better. Uh, the only issue that I get with a so micro is like somehow the second so micro that I have in the front is conflicting with the DVR, like I mentioned before, and it's conflicting with the OSD. That's why the OSD sometimes it flickers. Um, now, um, when it comes to the quad, I really like the way the E300 system works. I know some people that uh, they complain about it uh, and they even sell it because they feel that it's underpowered. You can see I'm doing 40 miles per hour with the quad, so it's working, you know, pretty, pretty decent. And um, another thing is uh, it, it's nice because it's a well balanced system, so you're not going to get uh, the vibrations of regular motors or props transferred to the aircraft. So right now I gotta do something that many people don't like to do and I understand, you know, 
uh, they got a good reason for that. It's the, you know, flying on top of a residential area, on top of buildings, stuff like that. Normally, I don't do this. Uh, uh, normally, when I fly, I go to, you know, like a field or a park. But the reason I'm doing this fly, and this is the main reason I purchased the aircraft, uh, to fly at night times, because when I do flights like the one that I'm doing right now, this flight is in the middle of the night. There's nobody around. Over here, this is like, uh, this thing was like around 3 in the morning. So there's virtually nobody on, on the streets. So that's why I said, you know what? They just fly around town. Another thing, this quad is a brand new quad. So, uh, you know, it's not that likely that I'm gonna have any anything going back with it. So that's why I took my my chance. But the main thing is, you know, to test the camera and video equipment of the quad because um, also I did approach uh, the local police department and I told them about you know the hobby that I do and everything. In this video, yeah, they are interested in acquiring, you know, drones uh, for surveillance, and uh, I'm gonna show in this video so they can have an idea of the potential of this particular aircraft for those. And they were interested in getting, you know, uh, multicopters that they are like built for law enforcement, but these multicopters are expensive; they cost as much as a police car. So I try to show them, I wanna show them, you know, like a hobby quality one, see if they, if this thing is more attractive for them than having uh, one that uh, costs a lot of money. Now, uh, on this point over here, the video is gonna skip soon. And that's the big problem that I got with my DVR and it's just like it doesn't like when I use the second camera sometimes when I switch to the second camera it just skip it doesn't record it's like it's like a big conflict and I guess it's like the resolution between the main camera and the second camera is so far apart that it just completely skip the video and I lose all that footage all that uh, uh, part of the flight like you see it right now you saw the skip you know like three times it's because of the OSD and the problem is that when I want to turn the lights on on the quad because I got LED lights and then you see it skip again it's because of the the camera the camera uh, that I got is uh, uh, the camera switch is hooked up together with the LED light switch and the reason I did that is because I got a night channel radio I only got three channels available for accessories because the other six channels they are hooked up to fly the NASA and I had to make those channels you know to work together with the uh, with uh, you know with different accessories I got one channel with a wire adapter to control the loss alarm and the uh, uh, OSD screen so this information that you see on the OSD right now I can turn that on and off if I wanted to so I got that one with the loss alarm and the other one is the LED light switch together with the camera switch. So when I turn on the secondary camera or the real camera, the LED lights they turn on and then when I go to the main camera, the LED lights, there's this camera that I'm using right now, the LED lights that they turn off. And I gotta set it up in that way. So at least I got the ability to fly with the lights on and off. Or I can also switch between cameras at the same time, you know. So, right here, I'm just doing a little bit of kind of proximity, and you can see that I can clearly see the with the 700 TVL the, the electrical wires of the light poles and have you know decent control of the aircraft uh, around you know objects. Um, pretty much, I'm about to. Uh, land the aircraft because by this point you know you can see the voltage of the battery the battery right now is about to uh, the light pole arm is about to go off and you can see on this part of the video I switch back to the secondary camera you can see all the crazy flickering that I'm getting and everything. 
It was a miracle that the DVR decided to record this part without skipping it. But still, you know, I, 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 I guess the only solution that I have to do is I either I have to eliminate the these little cameras on the camera switch and just fly with a main camera, or I will have to change the this uh, secondary camera that I'm using right now and just buy another one just like the one that I got in the rear because the one, the soft micro camera that I got in the rear is uh, small you see that it flicks again and it's giving you that problem, now that's the real camera and you saw the real camera works perfect and now switch immediately to the front camera so all the problem is you know, the secondary front camera that is this one that I got here the real camera works fine you don't see anything flickering. The 700 TVI camera works fine as well. It's just uh, the secondary from camera is the, the biggest problem that I got. So probably this, uh, probably this uh, uh, soon I'm gonna order, you know, the camera that I need, and then uh, start, you know, working with the with the aircraft to correct the the issue and get it, you know, resolved so that way I can take, you know, normal, you know, FPV videos at nighttime because flying at nighttime is really cool. I mean, this is a big challenge. I mean, most people don't do that. It's really nice to be able to have an aircraft that have the ability to do that and see things differently. One thing that I would say is, you know, you have to, if you want to fly at nighttime, you have to look into on daytime first, the area where you want to fly, and you know, make sure that when you're gonna fly, there's no electrical wires or anything. Now that's the rear view camera. I mean, that's the main camera, and you can see the main camera is working fine. It's working perfectly. You can see the stats over there of the, and that's the real camera. You see the real camera is working fine too. So it's just the camera on the center. I mean, the second camera, the, the biggest problem I have. Okay, so I hope uh, you guys got an insight of pretty much the issues I'm having here. And if you got any ideas, uh, please put it on the comment section below. Okay, so rate, comment, subscribe, share with each other this video. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.